sure some of the day. You've a visitor. I'm not so sure. Now, now. You mustn't get cold fins. Don't be shy, Ariel. Darling, it's me, your Auntie Ursula. I shouldn't be here. Nonsense. We're family. Father says you're wicked and hateful. Mm, yes. But he says the same thing of you, Miss Dutton, he comes. And we both know that's not true, don't we? Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the both of us. And now I fear he's driven you away too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, don't believe. We're so very unlike you, and I guess with ambition. Nothing scares a man more, doesn't it? Now tell dear old auntie everything. I fell in love with someone. A human. Ooh, yes, this prince fellow. He's quite the catch. Well, the answer is quite simple. You've got to become a human yourself. Can you help me? Help you? Ha! Help you! <laughs> My dear sweet child, it's what I live for. To help unfortunate fair folks like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repentance seen the light and made a switch. Dream yes. And I fortunately know I'm at all mad. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, the lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls. In pain, in need. This one longing to be thin, and that one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls. So sad, so true. They come flocking to my coat and cry and spoons. Oh, so I please, and I help. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the cove. Yes, I've had the odd complaint. But on the whole, I've been a saint. To those poor unfortunate souls. Now here's my best of the babykins. I know a spell that'll turn you into a human for three days. Now it's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss ya. If you do, you'll stay human forever. And if I don't? Oh, nothing drastic, darling, I'm sure. Let's have a look here. The soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend eternity in my watery, hell-soaked lair. Oh, lawyers, don't you just love them? Of course, there is one more thing. My fee. But I don't have anything. I'm not asking for much. Only a voice. My voice? Don't worry. I've got the perfect place for it. Your grandpappy Poseidon granted his magic trident to your father. But this was his gift, pour moi. Your magic shell. You've heard of it? Father says it's the source of all of your witchcraft. Nonsense, darling. He says you die without it. Uh, die? Oh, please. It's a bubble. A vessel for your voice. Trust me, your vibrato, your legato, even your belt. They'll all be safe and sound in there. But if I give away my voice, how can I ever have your looks? Your pretty face. And don't underestimate the importance of your body language! Ha! The man up there don't like a lot of blabber. I only think a girl who goes up is a bore! Yes, on land is much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is I don't prattle for? Come on, man! Not that I'll impress with conversation. Oh, you two gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't it soon and fall on a lady who's withdrawn. And she who holds that sound will get a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate souls. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a 
very busy woman and I haven't got all day. You don't cause that. Just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Watch some jetsam, now I've got her, boys. The boss is on the road. 